The wild gazelle. It's funny and running fast. It flees with light movements, which are what distinguishes it most. Its senses exceed its normal limits, so it can identify predatory animals from miles away. Slim in terms of appearance, and does not exercise aggression unless the females try to get out of the herd. It has a dominant male. It lives in groups, takes care of each other. It often migrates in the spring to find habitats rich in weeds and green all over. It's the wild gazelle that belongs to the mammal class. What is its life cycle, and what are the characteristics that make it adapt to the environment? We roam with it in its world full of natural beauty. The gazelle mating. Male wild deer make sounds between whining and maybe snoring during the mating season, which usually occurs with the beginning of winter by October and November. When the female reaches puberty and enters the estrus cycle, the period that qualifies her to become better able to communicate with males. This lasts over 18 days for a period ranging from 12 hours to 24 hours. Then, the male deer follows its female, lowering its head and stretching its neck forward, and its legs looked straight and outstretched. So, the female attracts to him and grabs her tail as a sign that she is ready. Then, the mating takes place. However, a female wild gazelle can mate during this period to more than one male and bear in her young an average of twice a year in numbers ranging from one to two during the pregnancy and is called antelope so that the gazelle gestation period lasts 180 days. The birth and care of antelope. The mother gives birth in a den out of sight. She stays away to place it among the tall grasses between May and April. She lies down some time and stands at other times until the gazelle comes out into the light. After birth, the baby weighs between 11 to 12 percent of the mother's total weight. Its length ranges from 60 centimeters to 110 centimeters. The mother licks the body of her newborn in order to clean it of the remains stuck in it. The little one tries to stand up, but his strength fails and it almost falls. The mother supports it to overcome its stumble, and 20 minutes after its birth, it becomes able to stand on its legs. The mother begins to practice her motherhood by looking after her young, breastfeeding them, and hiding them in the weeds for weeks, lest one of the predatory animals devour them. The shape and features of a small antelope. The first thing that comes out of the mother to life from her young, a small gazelle is overlooking a light brown color that is yellowing, and sometimes its color tends to redness. It is covered in white from the bottom, with black marks appear on the sides. Dark longitudinal signs are highlighted on the face of the wild gazelle, dropping from its eye, heading towards the mouth extending with longitudinal lines. As for their horns, they are covered in annular black, and it's long as ranging from 25 to 38 centimeters. In the end, it takes a forward curve in contrast to its straight beginning, so its features develop, and its characteristics become clear. By passing the antelope its first three weeks, and until it reaches the sixth week, it becomes able to feed by eating solid food such as herbs and shrubs. During this stage, it does not give up breast milk. After two months of the antelope's life, its stomach becomes larger and its growth is almost completed when it is on the cusp of its next year. It reaches the stage of weaning after three months of its life. Then, it is ready to get the proper nutrition for it from the wild, where its grassy habitat as it is a plant-eating animal that is often found in flower and sprout areas, the antelope feeds on plants and grasses, which provides it with a high percentage of fluids after digestion, which keeps it from dehydration. It also drinks water from the ponds adjacent to the herbs, where its rich fertile habitat in ponds or flowing rivers. The young gazelle stands on its hind legs, stretch its neck, trying to reach the leaves of the trees closest to it from the tops of the tallest trees. It is estimated that a young gazelle eats three to six pounds of herbs per day. The gazelle inhabitants. The antelope lives with its mother and its pack after its powers are strengthened. The mother transports her young from its den among the grass, where its first hidden place and his birthplace to the den where its community with its existing habitats, the savannas of Africa, to enjoy the grasslands and trees hanging with buds and small shrubs. Wild gazelle inhabits a number of continents, including where? Deserts of Africa and Southwest and Central Asia, besides its habitat in the grasslands of the Indian continent. The adulthood stage. After several months of the young gazelle's life, 
it reaches maturity in the period between nine months and up to its 18th month, as females mature to be able to reproduce after they are more than nine months old, while males take longer to reach puberty. When he is on the threshold of his 18th month, at that time, the baby gazelle is fully grown. Its characteristics are manifested to become more mature. The gazelle running speed. Gazelle have a high running speed, as it is known for its agility and ability to run. The most agile small gazelle antelopes have a running speed of up to 100 kilometers per hour, while the speed of the less agile gazelle is estimated at a constant running rate of 50 kilometers per hour. Its speed is necessary because it helps it escape from the predatory animals in the wild. The gazelle hunts a large number of predators, like leopards, hounds, as well as lions, so the ability of wild gazelle to run is one of the traits that make it adapt to their environments. The gazelle groups. It lives in small groups of 10 gazelle. It may consist of large numbers estimated at 700 gazelle. They are called the herd. Its groups appear to be multi-branched as they are divided into smaller groups and one of them dominates over the group. They go out for food together in the wild and usually prefer to go out in the early morning and perhaps at night to avoid the high temperatures during the hot summer due to its dry environment. It can live in its group with its characteristics of physical features. The Gazelle Antlers the gazelle has long antlers made of solid bones that contain keratin. The gazelle antlers extend from 25 to 38 centimeters in length. Especially they are used to protect them from the dangers of predation, so a gazelle can gore animals if they come close to them. The gazelle also has visual acuity that makes it identify predators that hover around from long distances, which makes it safe from predatory animals. but extends to its enjoyment of a strong sense of smell that makes it able to determine the direction of their food presence in abundance. The Gazelle Intelligence The wild gazelle is distinguished by its sharp intelligence, contrary to what is believed to be weak or unable to protect itself from the clutches of predators. It has the ability to hide from prying eyes, in addition to its intelligence in adapting to its environment. The Gazelle Growth and Puberty And as the gazelle matured, its features varied in terms of size and length. Once wild gazelle matures, it weighs 66 pounds. Especially, its lengths range from 2 to 3.5 feet. The gazelle nose. The gazelle has many unique abilities, as it uses its nose to inhale air in large quantities, which makes it look as if it has shrunk or wrinkled. The gazelle sound. The gazelle also emits very loud sounds. Scientists call this sound a loud noise as it has a large number of tones. The gazelle tail. The gazelle send signals with their tails to the herd to warn them of approaching predators. These signs may be mixed with the gazelle's playful behavior while playing with its herd, despite the fun and entertainment. The lifespan of gazelle. It doesn't not exist in the wild for a long time, as its ages range from 10 to 12 years, while the lifespan of a wild gazelle may extend to 15 years in captivity lives where nature reserves and national parks. However, there are a number of threats that haunt it. According to statistics, the remaining numbers in the wild are estimated less than 500 gazelles in the entire world. Therefore, most wild gazelle species fall under the category of endangered animals. The reason for this is that humans hunt them for their skins and fat. Does the wild lose the wild gazelle? Or does it withstand the challenges it faces with its intelligence, forming groups with a unique behavior and going out to eat the leaves of trees and buds together, guarding each other and playing in the confines of nature where greenery and water